I was so intimidated, it was kinda, yeah, anxiety was through the roof. No one cares as much as you think. Oh, you can do it, yes! Hello, oh, let's go. Hi, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pardon me, I'm a bit too keen, but it's because I I've taken some pre-workout, so I'm feeling a bit energized for today. Even though I'm running about on about four hours of sleep, but that's okay. Um, that's fine. All good. <sighs> yeah, life's good. Ooh, I have gym. I have gym. I'm at gym. I have an appointment with gym. <laughs> um. But yeah, I just wanted to start off this vlog. Happy Vlogmas. I don't know what day it is anymore. I'm just vlogging whatever day I feel like vlogging. Today I don't feel like vlogging. So, uh, yeah. Hitting legs. And I'll film as much as I can, as per usual. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Because I already had the poo workout hitting me. Like, I can feel it. I can feel it. And I need to, like, I need to burn this off. Burn off this caffeine in my system right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Eat. I've been going nowhere lately It's time to start all over and go for it Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet But that's something I don't regret Every night I close you can my eyes yes. and see that was so And they into dreams, baby What can I do when I'm in wrote down some things that I yeah that I okay yeah this is my personal tips on how I have overcome gym anxiety uh, I don't know I feel like it might help someone I hope it helps someone you know because I really want to make sure that you guys feel confident within yourselves to work out for yourself you know Confidence is key when it comes to these things. Featuring my fan. I have a fan, guys. I have some fans. Jokes. That was a really bad joke. Perfection. Okay. <laughs> um, so, how I have gotten over gym anxiety, guys. When I tell you, I was so anxious the first day that I decided I was going to work out in the open section. Where guys, men, whatever... We're working out. Guys, I was so intimidated. It was kind of... Yeah, anxiety was through the roof. I have overcome it successfully. I would say I am actually 95% confident at the gym now. Um, not because I I know what I'm doing, that kind of thing. Half the time, I still don't know what I'm doing, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's just because I have progressively, over time, really force myself out of my comfort zone, you know? And it's literally the only way, guys. It's the only way to actually progress in life is to force yourself out of your comfort zone, okay? Okay, so first, I, I just made a really good playlist. A playlist that made me feel good. That made me feel like, you know, just more fluid and more just excited because leading up to me working out, in the open area I'm just gonna call it open area I don't know what you guys call it but yeah um, I would literally sit in the car for like five to ten minutes listening to some good music to like hype myself up and I uh, took some pre-workout because pre-workout always helps me feel good as well it, it gives me that boost of energy that I need and I just literally sat in the car telling myself yeah, I got this. You got this. It's literally so easy. I literally tell myself no one cares. Next is work out in one section of the gym or find your corner. Find a corner somewhere. There's always a corner at the gym. <laughs> Hopefully it's not taken. Um, and just maybe start working with dumbbells first and just you can literally have a pretty good workout with just dumbbells. Um, obviously do your research find the workouts that you want to do which goes into the next tip which is to plan out your workout uh, 
I have done this before where I didn't know what I was doing and I just kind of aimlessly like wandered around the gym like what should I do next and that's not fun it does it adds to your anxiety of being at the gym you know what I'm saying so just make sure that you have a plan you know what workouts you're gonna do and find that corner steal that corner and make it yours <laughs> no one else is gonna pay attention to you in that corner don't you worry about that or you could literally just steal a smith machine steal a smith machine you're not stealing a smith machine what i mean is just maybe stay stationary in one area the smith machine is a really good one uh you can do so many workouts with the smith machine specifically with leg day specifically <laughs> i ran out of space for my on my camera anyways what was i up to no one cares as much as you think that's me being completely honest yeah from my own perspective I don't tend to focus on other people's workouts. You know, sometimes you could admire someone else's workout. Admiring is different to judging. Um, yeah, and from what I've noticed, people don't actually judge other people and their workouts unless you're doing something really, really weird, which I don't think you will. <laughs> unless you're doing something really, really weird, then people will look at you. But other than that, Everyone's literally focusing on themselves because everyone is there at the gym to work on themselves. Same as you. That's what you guys have. Like, that's what we all have as a common ground. Everyone is literally working on themselves at the gym. Take comfort in that. Yeah. Oh, this one I love. This is my favorite tip. Wear something you feel confident and comfortable in. So if you're feeling bloated that day, please don't wear a crop top or a sports bra because then you'll feel so self-conscious. I've done that before. You'll feel self-conscious and you won't have a good workout. You'll add pressure onto yourself to look good all the time at the gym when you should be focusing on your workout. Um, even if you wear like an oversized t-shirt with, you know, some cute biker shorts, that's a look. That's cute. At least, you know, you feel confident and comfortable in that. I would anyways. I, I tend to do that when I, you know, feel like I just want to have like a slouchy little lazy look but still cute at the same time, you know? And I would say maybe find a friend or someone that you know that likes to work out or knows what they're doing and go with someone to the gym for the first, I don't know, few sessions or the first couple of weeks just to ease your way in so at least you know where everything is sort of thing if it's your first time at the gym. Just explore the gym, like look around. I tend to do that still. Like I look around and I'm like, oh, that's where that equipment is. Like you can make a mental note on where it is so I'm like at least next time. You can add that into your program be like, all right, I know where that is. I'm going to do that workout. Next is don't go, don't go during the times when it's peak. Don't go when it's busy. Usually it's busy when it's after work hours. So I would say probably 4, 5 p.m. to like 7 p.m. Yeah, I think that's like the main times of when it's peak. Even in the mornings, you can get pretty busy, but it depends what time in the morning. If you really, really want it to be dead, go early in the morning, <laughs> like 6 a.m. morning, then you'll find that the gym is pretty, pretty empty. In my gym it is anyways, 6 to 7 a.m. is pretty good, pretty good time to be honest. And usually the people that at that time, the earlier times like 5 to 7 a.m. are work people and they're there just to like smash out their workouts, get it done and leave so they don't really have time to focus on other people. So if you feel like you want an environment where people literally won't look at you, I feel like that's a good time to go. Next is try to focus on your workout rather than what's going on around you. I know it's hard. I know how hard that is, honestly. Like I just went through that a couple of weeks ago. I was just very hyper focused on everyone around me that I kind of didn't really have a good workout. Like I was just so scared that people would judge me. I've been there, I've done that. And it doesn't help you at all to focus on everyone else but yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're doing yourself a disservice by focusing on everything else but yourself. Seriously. Um, everyone else there is focused on themselves, so why don't you do that for yourself, you know? It's a lot of work, I would say, to overcome gym anxiety, but it's so worth it, you guys. It is so worth it when you finally feel confident enough to just go to the gym without worrying about other people. Honestly, it's the best feeling ever. I hope you guys will get there. If you're someone that's struggling with the gym anxiety, I know you will get there. Just keep doing it. The more times you do it, the easier it will get. So if you have a lady section, I would suggest maybe, you know, doing one exercise in the open area and then doing the rest 
back in the ladies section. Yeah, and then slowly build up with, with that. Slowly ease your way in and then in no time, honestly, you'll be like, oh, that felt like nothing, you know? And the more times you get yourself out of your comfort zone, the easier it will get with anything in life. Anxiety is a bitch. I'm not gonna lie, anxiety is not fun. I know, I've been there, done that, still going through it. Your mind is very good at playing games with you. That's all I gotta say. And just try to talk yourself through your anxious thoughts and just be your own little personal therapist. Um, yeah, just don't let your anxiety stop you from living your life or stop you from doing the things that you want to do. Um, yeah. It's hard, I know. <laughs> anxiety is just like a temporary feeling. If you keep working on your anxiety and really making yourself self-aware of why you feel anxious, you'll start to actually question your anxious thoughts more. And, you know, you'll eventually overcome those anxious thoughts because you make more of an effort to actually go against it, if that makes sense. Yeah, but that's that. That's just a little something uh, I wanted to share with you guys because I feel like I, I didn't realize that I don't have gym anxiety anymore and it's amazing. I feel so good not having gym anxiety anymore. It's because I just push myself out of my comfort zone. I force myself to work out in the open area and now I'm like confident and I love that for me. So I hope you guys can do the same for yourself. You know, do it for you. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's your life, you know. Who cares what people think? Don't care what people think. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay, my camera's... I, I hope you guys are not bored of just me being at home because that, this is my life. I live at home and, like, I don't really have much of a social life. Yeah, <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, not really. Um... I have pretty much isolated myself from socializing. Kind of sad, I know. But I'm slowly making my way in with socializing, you know. I'm socializing with my friend at the gym. I've made a friend at the gym too, a new friend. Uh, yeah, that's the most socializing I've done. At the gym. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys want to socialize with me, I'll socialize with you at the gym. <laughs> Oh gosh, I didn't. I don't know what my life has come to, I'm gonna be honest. Oh my god. I wanna show you guys my new layout of my wardrobe. Just a little mini, I just made a little bit of a change. Um, it's a bit messy. <laughs> Actually, it's very messy. Whoops. I should have shown you guys when it was fully clean. But, pretty, oh my god, I just burped. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. These basket thingies I got were from Target. Love the look of them. I just needed a place to put all my sports stuff, to be honest. I have that much now. I literally have a massive collection and I love it. Uh, so this is my leggings and my shorts. My gym shorts, gym leggings. And I have my random perfume in here that I got. Um, so I also bought this from Black Friday. It was saved $100, so I couldn't pass that up. I'm gonna be honest, this is my all-time favorite perfume. If you guys wanna know how I smell like, I smell like this. Usually it looks very organized. Usually it looks like that. See? Very nice, very clean looking. Here we have my top. Oh, run them. Get that out of the way. Um, sorry, I just didn't really prepare for this. But you guys get the point. I have my gym tops here. The ones on top are the ones that I use the most. That's that. And then I have my socks, undies, and bras in that one. I love this layout because it's so easy for me to just look for things. Because when I had my tops up in up there and my leggings up there, I struggled and it kind of made it look a bit messy as well when I was looking for my tops and leggings. So I decided I'm gonna be a bit more, more organized. <laughs> Just 